what's going on everybody, it's Timney Swift here and welcome to a tutorial video where I'm going to be showing you guys how to build these ultra compact automatic bee farms. And you can use these in your worlds to collect honey bottles or honeycomb. And as you can see here, the design is pretty simple and I'm going to show you guys how to build these today. The one on the left here is a design that I've used most recently and the one on the right I've made a slightly additional modification to the one on the left here and this one is more set up for, you know, making things tileable if you wanted to sort of tile these farms directly next to each other because you can totally do that. Now I don't claim to own or have invented this entire bee farm. I know a lot of these have been, these designs have been around for a while. I've just made a couple of small tweaks that I wanted to share in this video today. Recently in an episode of Legacy SMP, which if you haven't checked out that series yet, I definitely recommend you do so. It's super fun. It's a vanilla survival multiplayer series that I am doing with a bunch of other amazing YouTubers. Anyways, it's really cool. I'll put a link down to that in the description if you want to check it out. But in that series, I was working on building some fighter jets for my sci-fi base. And ultimately, I wanted to put some automatic bee farms inside those fighter jets. And so I had to make some modifications to the automatic bee farm design that I was already using. And I kind of wanted to make this video just to share those modifications with you guys and show you how I did it. So the one on the left here, we're going to start with this. And for this one, basically all you need, it's pretty simple. You need five building blocks. It doesn't matter what they are. You need five slabs. You need one redstone comparator. You need five pieces of redstone dust. You need a hopper. You need a piston. You need a lever. You need one dispenser a barrel or any storage item of your choice. So it could be, I mean, it could be anything. It could be a barrel, it could be a chest, it could be a trap chest, it could be another dispenser, it could be whatever you wanna keep your stuff in, a dropper, I don't really care. You need 13 pieces of glass, but that's a little bit flexible because you can also substitute any of these pieces of glass with any sort of building block. It's just, I like to use glass so that I can see the bees flying around inside. And then you have some options here. So you either need a piece of grass or dirt. You need any one of these two tall flowers. So rose bush, lilac, a peony, or a sunflower. You're gonna need some, obviously you're gonna need some bees, but you're gonna either need those bees to be housed inside of a beehive or a bee nest. And then you have a choice here at the end between what you want your farms to do. If you wanna collect honeycomb, you're gonna to wanna to use shears. And if you wanna collect honey bottles to make honey blocks, you're going to get the glass bottles. You wanna put the glass bottles inside your dispenser. So I'm gonna show you guys how to build one of these. They're very, very simple and let's get started. All right, so we'll build this one here on the left first. And basically I'm just gonna start here on the ground. And just to make things easier for a point of reference, you may wanna start with a grass block first. It doesn't really matter. I kind of, every time I build one of these, I sort of basically just build them in a different order. So don't, it doesn't really matter how you do this, but I'll try and break this down for you guys. So start with a grass block. And because I'm a creator, I'm just gonna delete that. We only need one grass block here. All right, so next we're gonna sort of frame this piece of grass with our glass. So we're gonna go up three in the front here, we're gonna go up three on the side, and then what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna take a building block, we're gonna put the building block down right here, and then we're going to put two pieces of glass on top of that. Then the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is right in front of this grass block here, you're gonna put a piston. Now the piston is super important because it's gonna allow you to turn your farm on or off. And this is really useful if you don't wanna burn out your shears and you've got enough honey blo honeycomb blocks or something, or if you're done collecting honey bottles and you just wanna turn the farm off. Maybe, I don't know, maybe you don't like the sound of the bees. I personally love it. I think it's a really cool addition to the game. But this farm will allow you to turn your farm on or off, which I think is kind of neat. On this solid block here, you're now gonna put a lever and this is gonna control the farm. This is gonna make your piston go up and down. If it's down, your farm is gonna be on. And if it is up, your farm is going to be off. Now, two blocks behind this piston, you're gonna place down your barrel or your chest or whatever your storage device is. And then you're gonna grab a hopper and you're going to shift click and put that hopper so that it is pointing into that barrel. And this is important because this is where your stuff is going to collect. So if you wanna have your stuff go into an automatic sorting system or whatever, you could just get rid of this and have a whole hopper chain go back, or you could keep it and just continue, you know, putting your hoppers going, you know, going that way or whatever. But for the sake of this compact design, I like to just have one sort of storage item right here where you can kind of run up to and collect your items. Next, we're gonna grab our glass again and we're gonna put two pieces of glass here and three pieces of glass right here. Then you wanna grab your building blocks and you wanna jump inside. And basically what I like to do here is I sort of just like to actually build up a little bit. So I kind of build over on this side, I build up one and then I build another one right here. Cause basically what that's gonna allow you to do is we're gonna be placing our dispenser 
and this needs to be facing directly down. So if you have a block to push that onto, that is going to help you immensely. So like that, you want your little hole of the, of the dispenser to be facing downwards, sort of looking into this hopper. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and destroy these blocks. Now that you've got all that set up, you're gonna to wanna to grab your building blocks again and put two blocks on the backside of this farm. So one is gonna go on top of your storage unit and the other one is gonna go on the backside of your dispenser. And then you can put a third one right there as well. Now grab your slabs and on the top half of of this barrel, you're gonna put a slab right there, you're gonna put another slab right there, and then you grab a building block, you're gonna go here and then go up. We don't actually need this one so we can get rid of that. And this is gonna sort of be your redstone. Uh, actually to complete this though, you need to put one more slab up top right there. Then grab your comparator, swing around this side here and place your comparator like this so that the arrow is pointing that way out of this block right here. We're then gonna take that redstone signal five blocks because beehives and bee nests when they're full, they will put out a redstone signal read by the comparator, and the max they can put out is five. So once it reaches five, it will trigger the dispenser. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five. And that's basically gonna travel the redstone up this way. And then once it hits here, it's gonna go over here, and then it's gonna go into the dispenser. All right, so next thing you're gonna wanna do is actually you're gonna wanna probably, if you have bees already in the hive, you're gonna wanna power this on. Or, or yeah, you're gonna wanna power your piston on, which is effectively, effectively going to turn the farm off. But we need to get our nest in here, which I usually like to do last, just because you don't want your bees to escape. If your bees escape, it just kind of makes things a little bit more frustrating. So I kind of like to make this container here first before I do all of that. And I also like to make sure that the piston is extended before I place the hive that way the bees can't escape. So I've got a hive right here that already has three bees inside of it. And what I usually like to do, it's kind of annoying, but you know, because we already placed these blocks, but actually just break these two glass blocks here. You're gonna wanna crouch here, look sort of through either the left or the right of that piston arm and you can actually kind of hit the block right behind there and that's where you're gonna place your hive. Now because the piston block, the arm is directly in front of the bee, bee nest here, the beehive, the bees aren't gonna be able to come out. As soon as I release this, they will be able to come out. Because that piston arm is there, our farm is effectively turned off right now. Go ahead and replace these two glass blocks right here. Then you're gonna to wanna to grab your two tall flower and you're gonna put that right there. That obviously is where the bees are gonna collect their pollen. And then looking right directly at that flower, you can put two slabs right here. And that's it. That farm design is totally complete. If I enable this like that, the bees will now have a chance to come out and they have a two block high area in there to pollinate, which means the bees aren't gonna be crashing into each other a lot. They're gonna actually be able to stay on a flower, which would be a little bit nice because it's gonna hopefully help them get the pollen and collect all that faster and go back into the hive. Now, if you don't like this design specifically with this sort of piece of glass missing here because of the lever right here, you can actually modify this just a little bit further. And if I were to go underneath the farm right here, underneath this grass block. If I chop this away, just so you guys can kind of see what's going on, we can actually put a piston on this grass block as well. So this will also work and powering this piston here. And if you would like to, and you want to just make this a little bit more uniform looking and you want to have glass on all sides, this also works as well. All right, so moving on to the other variation over here. Now this one is a little bit more, I guess it's it's slightly different. It's a little bit more tileable. It's kind of just a variation on that one there. You can basically either put the piston in the upper position or the lower position. So like you guys saw on this one we just built together, the piston is down here on this lower position. And on this one, the piston is up here. And in order to power this, I basically just put a lever right here and that will power that. And you can also then sort of stack these directly next to each other. So if you wanna start up another farm literally right here, you totally can. And just to give you an idea of kind of what that would start to look like, it would be basically this glass wall right here would be acting as this glass wall on this one but just for this farm. So we could have those directly next to each other with just a one block gap in between. And that makes things nice and easy because then we can just sort of like start to tile these together and we save on glass, save on space, and it's nice and handy. We'd have our dirt right here and our flower right here. So you guys kind of get the idea. Obviously, and this goes without saying, as I sort of forgot to mention this when we built this farm, but the very last thing you need to do in order for this farm to be fully operational is either fill it up with glass bottles. And with these, if you do glass bottles with one of these farms, you're gonna need to make sure that you have bottles in every single spot in this dispenser. The minute you have one that's empty, it's just gonna start putting honey bottles in there. So you wanna make sure that this is full with glass bottles at all times. 
But if you craft up a ton of them, you can fill this thing up and it will run for a long while before you have to replace them all again. And if you're looking to get honeycomb, the same thing goes for the shears. So you wanna make sure that you have shears in every single spot in your dispenser. Basically what that's gonna do is it's going to allow and make sure that once the item, the, the dispenser has been triggered and either the bottle is activated or the shears are activated, that the item that's created, either the honey bottle or the piece of honeycomb, will then be ejected. It won't go back into the dispenser. It'll be ejected and the hopper will immediately pick it up and put it into the barrel right here. So that's it guys, super easy tutorial. I hope to see some pictures. Maybe you guys can send me some photos. If you build these in your Minecraft worlds, I would love to see them. Send me some photos on Twitter or whatever. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe, click that bell as well as so you get notified anytime I post new updates or new videos. And make sure you check out my Legacy SMP series with a bunch of awesome creators. It's been so much fun. I'm currently building an amazing Tron city, a city based off Tron Legacy in there, which is really, really awesome. I'm having a lot of fun with it. But I hope you guys enjoy these little bee designs. I haven't really seen anybody else do these sort of variants. I kind of just tried to move the pistons around and make them a little bit more space efficient and compact. So anyways, you guys, hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys next time. Peace. Thank you.